for his 1902 injection of $40,000, the Philippine Western Railroad was born. Redesigned as the eastern connection of a Transcontinental Railroad to the Western Maryland Railroad in York, but failed to live up to those dreams. But we still see its dreams today. So, what happened to the Philadelphia Western Railroad and its lost branch? Originally by the Sheldon Syndicate of New York, it took them five years from that initial 450k to opening day. By that high map, they'd already followed over a million in loans. They were able to quickly reorganize. No of the pet stores there back in the day, possibly. Sheldon is there, yeah, probably. And this is technically back in old Sugartown, old Lancaster, I believe. So it makes sense that the trolley would go from here and turn out. And past the church just up the way. Yeah, the church is probably there. That's been many restaurants that have been tied to that building right there, but now it's only a CVS. Those things might not been there in the past, but like, so don't see how the trolley could have threaded through here as much. Well, probably the right now didn't exist, and maybe buildings are pushed further back, as you can see with the house just behind those trees. Not to the bank. Was there maybe it's final? Beers going up to Stratford Station, and then that abandoned. I think it's been a karate place. So they do have a plaque of a Sugar Town Road Station. I don't think I've ever seen one for the Stratford Station connection. This building here opened in 1911. They use an older shack as the terminus when the line first opened in 1907. And that's how it looked like back during the Great Depression era. Actually, the country sports still stand here to this day. Their plans to go all out to Parksburg in Newark was officially abandoned in March 1912 as an Arctic extension one stop to the nearby Stratford train station opened in October 1911, followed by the Norristown branch on August 26, 1912. The failure of that extension out to York Reminds me a bit of the old Line 8 in Madrid, where the original plan was to go all the way down to Plaza de Elliptica. But then, they ran out of money. In terms of money, we have no money. So they decided, we're going to turn it and do the next best thing. Bruh. Just like many other train networks of history, the Philippine Western also built their own amusement park along their train line. Beachwood Amusement Park. And well, that didn't go so well, because tree people usually don't work well with theme park people. Simple story, it only lasts like two years, and finally it went for the first day, but... There's a community garden here off the Gallagher Road access point. Yeah, I'm guessing there was a station here too, not too long ago. I think it's kind of close, I think. The was originally here, but then they moved it slightly for the new building that we saw earlier. And then they extended it one stop farther to... Trafford. Two more tidbits in one. So there are restrooms here at the Friends of Radnor Trail Park. They're currently closed at the moment, but uh, let's see about the uh, time if that's on. Now, actually, I'm not sure where they are stopped. It wouldn't be if this was also a stop. At one point, oh yeah, we have the lot right there. It's a good place for you to watch a dog, whatever. Guess I'm right. Well, the West Wayne sign has seen better days. I ended up turning back after stopping off at the Wayne Arts Center, which is not even a mile down the trail. But from my house all the way to that point, I've probably clocked number two miles on this walk. You can tell by the art we're passing here, passing by an art center. Yeah, this reminds me of Madeline a little bit. Oh, look, a Van Gogh. I guess I'm sitting on a stump. Of a pavilion that I guess is technically a treehouse since oh, it's still so popular, but even though most of the canopy is gone, unfortunately. But we are center, 
spent a lot of my early middle school summers here after summer camp horseshoe, summer school. There's a lot of activities here that I did. Forming arts, cooking, you know, all the drawings and stuff over on the wall behind me. But I was in there. They lived in Kodo it. That would change my life forever. And I'd come to regret it. But you know what? I'll save that story for another time. As I head back, I noticed more down trees. Maybe I'll complete the whole trail someday. Somehow. I don't know. As for the Shire Ranch, that part of the North Side High Speed Line we know today and ended up merging with the Red Arrow Lines in 1954. And in 1956, the Red Arrow Lines suspended the Stratford Branch and eventually what we know as the Red Arrow Lines, the North Side High Speed Line and the 101 and 102 joined SEPTA in 1970. Finally, in June 2004, the PNW Trail was established and opened in January 2005. Next video, we're doing a lot more first with riding the trolley buses and the quote unquote metro system of Philadelphia, a bunch of other transit counters like uh, Miles and Jackson, Miles and Transit, Classy Whale, Jared Cohen, and more. So until then, comment, subscribe, search for the bell, good night, and good luck.